member John Ellis Tether. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last Friday, this government finally announced the membership of the Farm and Ranch Worker Roundtables. Inevitably, there have been already complaints from producer groups and the public about the makeup. It is vital that farmers and ranchers, and especially members of the roundtables, have faith in this process. They must be assured there will be no political interference. To the minister, if your government disagrees with the input from these roundtables, will the government ignore those recommendations and arbitrarily decide the legislation? <laughs> minister of Agriculture and Forestry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and the member for the question. Mr. Speaker, I'm quite proud of the makeup of these tables. We've had a real good balance from, from very various groups, including farms and ranchers. And with that balance, I'm looking forward to the recommendations they're going to make overout the year. Um, uh, we need those recommendations. Agriculture, as the member I'm sure knows, agriculture is very diverse in this province. We need those recommendations going forward so we get so government can write those regulations. And I'm really looking forward to that process. Mr. Thank you again, Mr. Speaker. Given that this legislative process has been flawed from the very beginning with the lack of consultation before legislation, and given that we have seen very little openness and transparency from this government, to the Minister, is there a framework or working documents of any sort your mediators and roundtable members will start with, and will you table them in the House? Hon. Minister of Agriculture. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and the member for the question. So there, there's going to be six technical working groups made up, again, like I said earlier, about from various uh, interests right across the province, a very balanced interest, looking forward to the recommendations. I'm going to give them the opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to have an opportunity to have an open voice in any of these technical working groups going forward, that they have their input, looking forward to the recommendations. Um, I'm sure the member might realize that these are recommendations, but it is the government's role to write regulations. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Second supplemental. Thank you. Again, Mr. Speaker, given that nobody cares more about the safety of farms and ranches than those men and women that own them, and give, given that a vast number of those already have private insurance equal to or superior to WCB levels, to the minister, if the roundtables come back to the government and the recommendations are that pri equivalent private insurance would suffice, would you act upon it? Or has this possibility been completely negated from the start? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and the member, member for the question. Uh, the, I might re uh, remind the member that the WCB, Workman's Compensation Board, is in effect as of January 1st of this year. We've had a, it's been very effective. Thank you. It's been very effective. A lot of farmers and ranchers right across the province have signed up for it, knowing the value to it, knowing that it protects their workers and them themselves as well, Mr. Speaker. Um, and, and there's, like I say, the vast majority have signed up on it, and it's so far it's been a very good process. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.